I feel like I look like I get high with my mom. <laughs> um, which is crazy because I don't. Um, no, I'm kidding, I do. I get high with my mom. Um, and speaking of getting high with my mom, um, I'm going to get high with my mom at my wedding. I'm actually getting married next year, you guys. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The wedding is on 420, um, 420, 2024. And I know you're thinking it's probably because you get high with your mom that you chose that. Um, no, but I chose it because it's a palindrome. It means it's the same forwards and backwards, 420, 2024. Um, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Found that out when I was high with my mom, you guys. Um, we were just thinking it was cool and the haze and it was like the 70s all over again. Um, you know, I, uh, I got an effed up statistic that I've been meaning to talk about. Does, do people have interest in hearing this effed up statistic? Yeah! Um, I heard this and it just made me so sad, made me so worried and confused. Um, so I heard that 100% of the Seattle Police Department, you heard me, 100% of the Seattle Police Department just doesn't wash their ass, <laughs> ever. It's like a thing, when you join, you have to stop washing your ass. I don't know why. I know we shit a lot about cops, or shit on cops a lot in Seattle. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, but I know we shit on cops a lot in Seattle, but uh, I was actually in a porter potty the other day. Um, I wasn't shitting on a cop in the porter potty. Yeah. I was just doing my business, doing pretty good if I say so myself. And uh, I got done and I kind of opened the door and the door swung open and it, it let out a gentle clack. And um, there was two piggies walking right <laughs> towards me. They were covered in mud. And, squealing and, and playing with each other and they had two little fingies you know like pigs have two little fingies um, and they were police officers you guys that's called comedy I tricked you um, no but uh, the cop looked at me heard the gentle clack of the door and he said hey easy on that door and I said what? You know, I heard what he said, but I still had to ask. Um, and he said, I said, easy on that door. Um, so I know we shit on cops a lot in Seattle, but you know, clearly that guy cared a lot about the city, you know? <laughs> Doing his job, you know? I mean, he might not care a lot about the people in the city, you know? The city itself, the property. <laughs> The porter potties, the mailboxes, <laughs> the traffic cones, the concrete partitions. You don't want to see what he would do for a stop sign, you guys. <laughs> Go to war for a stop sign. So I actually um, don't like cops, if you guys can guess. And I think all cops are bad ACAB, and I think that because it's a broken system, so you can't be a good cop, that's my opinion. Um, but I do think that that phrase, ACAB, could use some retooling just to hit different demographics, specifically rich people, because for whatever reason, the rich just don't want to get rid of the police. Um, it's because of property, you guys. If you call that. <laughs> last year. Um, but I just think if we changed it just slightly, so it's all cops are bad or bastards, ACAB, we could just change it to all cops are icky. <laughs> now it spells acai. <laughs> and they're going to come in droves to the protests <laughs> to subliminally support those super berries from the, from the, from South America. 